Hello, and welcome to a CraftLogic tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made these realistic trees using a 3D printer. If you like the video, let me know by subscribing and pressing the like button. I modeled the trees in a 3D modeling software called Blender. This program is free to download from blender.org and is available on multiple operating systems. For this project, I wanted to model some mangrove trees, which have very distinct roots. So I began by creating a wireframe structure for the root system. At this stage, I just wanted to create the rough shape. I would do some fine tuning later on in the design process. To give the wireframe some volume, I applied a skin modifier and a subsurface subdivision modifier. With the two modifiers added, I continued to adjust the shape of the roots until I was happy with the look. The trunk and branches of the tree were created using the exact same process. When I was happy with the overall shape of the tree, I saved a copy, applied the modifiers, and opened Sculpt Mode. At this stage, you can sculpt in all sorts of extra details, but I just chose to give the tree a slightly more realistic texture. If you plan to print your tree at smaller scales, you can skip this step entirely. If you would like to see a more detailed explanation on how I design a tree in Blender, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future tutorials. To prepare the tree for printing, I opened it in a slicing software. This program tells the printer exactly how to print the tree. It also adds any necessary supports to make sure that the print is successful. Though in this case, I think it added more supports than needed, and in the future, I will try with fewer supports to make cleanup of the print easier. To print the tree, I used the Elegoo Mars Resin 3D Printer and the standard gray resin that was packaged with the printer. A few hours later, when the print was finished, the trees were carefully removed from the build plate with a plastic spatula. The prints were then rinsed in some isopropyl alcohol to remove any excess liquid resin. The supports were removed with some clippers and some careful application of force. Using fewer supports would have made this job a little bit easier and less likely to break any of the finer branches or roots. The trees were spray painted with a light tan color, then washed with Citadel contrast paint. The thinned down wildwood contrast paint provides a pretty good result. To give a more realistic look, I dry brushed the tree with a variety of colors. The exact colors are really not that important, just achieve a look that you're happy with. The canopy of the tree was created by gluing small seafoam branches to the resin tree.
super glue gel was used to attach the branches to the tree. This step can be a little bit tedious, but some fine tipped tweezers and super glue accelerant can make the process a lot easier. I think you will agree that the end result is definitely worth the hard work. To create the leaves, a spray adhesive was used to attach a variety of Woodland Scenics foam turf products. To ensure that it dries clear, the spray adhesive was very lightly applied to the ends of the branches. The foam turf was then gently pressed into place. This process can be repeated several times to gradually build up the volume of the canopy. To give a little bit more color variation, I sprinkled a small amount of earth blend blended turf over the top of the tree. To give the final tree a little bit more durability and to remove the tackiness from the spray adhesive, I misted it with isopropyl alcohol and a 3 to 1 mixture of water and Mod Podge matte medium. I think the final result was well worth the effort and I will definitely be 3D printing more trees in the future. Thanks for watching and if you like this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any future tutorials.